Hi, my darling Libras. How are you guys doing today? How you doing, Libra? Thank you guys so much for tuning the freak in. As you guys already know, we're going to see, you know, what kind of lunatic may be coming towards you in this love thing. Um, keep in mind that the situation here could be played out reverse, vice versa. If you are connected to a Libra as a cross watcher, then the Libra may have done this. I'm not sure who's doing what. So just, you know, take what resonates, leave the rest. It is a general reading. Okay, um, I would say, okay, well, if you need a personal, just hit me up for a personal, but shit, <laughs> my personals are closed, um, most likely to mid-August, so, I'm uh, saying, so, um, let's see what's coming towards you, Libra, in this love thing, okay, so we seen last week that there was someone who really wanted to come over and shit, the, you know, the player really wanted to, um, reconnect and stuff, but, um, <laughs> Jokes on them. <laughs> All right, Libra. What is coming towards Libra? I think it's so funny saying that. Libra. <laughs> All right. What is coming towards Libra and love spirit? What do you have for Libra? Libra. What do you have for Libra and love? Libra. Wow. Okay. So Libra, it looks like you're letting go of someone. Okay. That's exactly what the hell you're doing. Um, you got letting go showing up here releasing walking away moving on okay you have hoping waiting expecting manifesting maybe you're letting go of something that you just you've been waiting too long for right you're annoyed but you do have epiphany realizations understandings and awakening so some of you are seeing the truth in a situation possibly so let's see Angels, what is coming towards the Libra Collective in love? What is coming towards the Libra Collective in love? Libra. Oh, wow. Okay. So let's keep this at the bottom of the deck. You have passion. And you also have true love behind that. Um, and then you have stay optimistic about your love life. Libra. Yeah, I kind of see you guys waiting or some of you are hoping for things to get better or to improve or for someone to make a move or maybe hoping to take things to the next level with someone but so you could be connected to an Aquarius what is coming towards Libra and love spirit what do you have coming towards Libra and love Libra and love please Libra Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Libra said ah you got me fucked up right libra this is you you could be connected to another air sign like i said aquarius libra gemini but i definitely see you being in the queen of swords energy you don't give a damn uh, well i'm not gonna say you don't give a damn but you just you're doing what's best for you okay you detach from this energy whoever the hell this person is right some of you are just like you know what if, you, if you're not gonna come correct you're not gonna tell me the truth stay away from me tell me um more what is coming towards libra and love Tell me more. What is coming towards Libra and love? Some of you left this person alone because um, they could be married. They could be in a relationship. Some of you left them alone because of that. And you're like, I'm not going to get involved with someone who, you know, is spoken for and shit. That's just not how I roll. That's, that's not, you know, not only is that inappropriate, Libra, but... <laughs> You know, you're all about doing the right thing. And the right thing is definitely not getting involved in something like that, okay? For those of you, you may feel like they're your twin flame. So even though you know there's this strong connection, you're like, you know what, I just have to... It's better for me to kind of put this behind me for right now. With the chariot, could be connected to a Gemini or a Cancer. What is coming towards Libra and love? Tell me more. What is coming towards Libra and love? Tell me more. Libra. Libra. What is coming towards Libra in love? Tell me more for Libra. Libra. Okay. So, you have um, Empress, which is you showing up here. Could be connected to a Taurus. Ten of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, someone could definitely be married. Or maybe this is someone that you were married to, Libra. Actually, let me not do it like that because I like to pull multiple cards. But I feel like there was definitely a delaying here, delaying the inevitable, right? I feel like you you may feel like, okay, I, I should have been done this. You know, I should have been just cut this person off, okay? And I see a lot of you are definitely, you know, feeling, you know, you're doing what's best for you, okay, with the Empress card. You're like, no, I'm a queen, you know, I'm an Empress or, you know, I know my value as a man. You know, I'm not going to let someone 
you know, just kind of keep me as a sex, sex or, you know, third party, whatever you want to call it. What is coming towards Libra and love? Someone could be pregnant here. What is coming towards Libra and love? Tell me more. Well, you got Sagittarius showing up here, Libra. So you could definitely connect it to a Sagittarius. What's coming towards Libra and love? Anything else, spirit? What is coming towards Libra and love? What is coming towards Libra and love? Libra. Some of you are connected to a Virgo. Yeah, Pisces, Virgo, Gemini, Taurus, Cancer. So I feel like, um, Libra, some of you are just, you know, this is something that you've been contemplating for some time now. You've been thinking about for some time now. Okay. Some of you may be in a relationship already or you may be, but whoever this person is, you know, they may have done, you know, lying, cheating, whatever the case may be. And you, you could be feeling trapped with this person. You want to leave them. Okay. Maybe you're making, you're needing to make a very big decision to leave. I feel like Libra. Okay. So this is what I'm hearing. It's going to sound messy. But I feel like for some of you, if that resonates and they're, this person's involved, I feel like this person is really contemplating making a decision to leave somebody for you. Okay. It's kind of what I'm seeing here in that situation. Tell me more. What is coming towards Libra and love? Tell me more about the situation for Libra and love. Libra. The Ace of Wands. See, when I see the Ace of Wands, the Empress, someone could definitely be pregnant. What is coming towards Libra in love? Tell me more. What is coming towards Libra in love? So I feel like we got Venus and the Sun could be connected to a Leo. One more. What is coming towards Libra in love? What is coming towards Libra in love? Libra. All right. Well, you got Pisces showing up here again. And you have the Three of Cups. So, Ace of Wands next to the Three of Cups. This is a, you know, definitely a reconciliation, right? So, I see this person potentially could be coming back to you and telling you the truth, Libra. I don't know. That's kind of what I feel. Like, somebody is coming to tell you the truth, right? As soon as I said that, Seven of Swords in Reverse is in the reverse. Well, that made no sense. Seven of Swords is in the reverse. So, this is someone wanting to come clean to you. Um, and I feel like they may tell you why they've been stalling or something like that, okay, for some of you. If you know there's a third party. But I just kind of see this person wanting to get out of something to be with you or something like that. Like they're needing to cut someone off. Very interesting. Because I do feel like this person loves you though. Whoever this person is, they do love you. But... You could expect, Libra, that they're going to come and tell you the truth with the Queen of Swords. You're getting the truth from them. And I think, like, intuitively, you may have already picked that up. Like, they're hiding something or something's going on. What is this Queen of Swords about for Libra in love? What is this Queen of Swords about for Libra in love? But I feel like you just, um, you're dead ass serious with this person. If, if this person has a detached, Okay, or if they're not ready to take things to the next level, I just, I, I see you're not really giving a damn. Okay, you don't give a damn how strong the pull is. You're going to continue to move forward. Um, this clarity could be coming from a Leo with the sun, but I feel like whatever clarity they have to tell you or whatever truth, because Queen of Swords, she's all about the truth. When she shows up, you can expect that you would be getting the truth. So, and no more BS, beating around the bush, whatever the case may be. But I feel like for some of you, not all of you, some of you don't want them no more. But for those of you who may want this person, I feel like there's some kind of clarity um, that's coming in from this person that's going to make you happy with the sun. Something about the past, right? Maybe a decision that they needed to make. They're telling you that they made it. The devil in the reverse. What is the chariot about for Libra and love? The chariot, please. The chariot. Yeah, so you just got to the point, Libra, to where you feel like it's a stuck situation. There's no movement or this person's not going to change or whatever the case may be. So, I mean, you're just kind of like mustering up the courage um, and just saying, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Ten of Cups reverse. You probably stop seeing this person as your Ten of Cups. You're like, you know what? It's not worth it anymore. This is a waste opportunity. But it's not. Tell me about the lovers for Libra and love. Tell me about the lovers for Libra and love. The lovers talks about needing to make a very big decision here, a major decision. And I think this person is really making the decision to leave. 
okay? Um, you got the Chariot, the Ace of Wands, and the Queen of Cups. You see this person? I feel like something sparked them to leave. Whether that, maybe you cut them off and that's what sparked them to, to make a decision as to what they want, okay? They don't want it to be over, Ten of Swords, Reverse. Tell me about this Eight of Swords in Reverse for Libra in Love. Eight of Swords Reverse. So I feel like this person, as fucked up as it sounds, I feel like this person's like choosing you. Tell me about the Eight of Swords in the Reverse for Libra in Love. Wow. So they want to come back to you, Libra. See, that's what you're going to say. This person wants to come back to you. Six of Cups, Seven of Swords in the Reverse. They miss you. If they left you for someone else, grass wasn't greener. It wasn't. What is this Three of Cups about for Libra and love? Three of Cups for Libra. Okay. Five of Pentacles reversed. Three of Cups for Libra and love. Give me one more. Oh, shit. One more card. Three of Cups for Libra and love. Three of Cups. So that's what I'm really... Okay. Strength. Okay. High Priestess Reverse, the Hermit Reverse, Five of Pentacles Reverse. So it's almost like, I think you know this is why they this person's been treating you a certain type of way or ghosting you or some shit like that. It's because they're involved, okay? Um, let's see. Angels, what else should um, Libra know about this situation? What else should Libra know about this situation? What else does Libra need to know about this situation? What else does Libra need to be aware of in this situation? What else does Libra need to be aware of? Some of you are dealing with an Aries. Wow, the Nine of Swords, the Page of Swords reverse. What else does Libra need to be aware of in this situation? Wow. So I feel like, Libra, you may have really been having sleepless nights about this. What else does Libra need to know in this situation? Wow. Wow. See, they're going to tell you the truth, Libra. Some of you may feel like this person was just toxic and the damage has, has been done. Um, not all of you. It's not a third-party situation. Keep that in mind. For some of you, it just may be someone who is non-committal. Um, and the the wake-up call was you walking away from them, okay? Um, and they're, they're starting to realize your value. They realize that they took you for granted, okay? And now here they come wanting to be together or wanting to move things forward. Okay, but others of you, I see this person kind of telling you that they've detached from someone or something that was very toxic, okay? Doesn't have to be a person, a third party could have been, you know, drinking, drugs, alcohol, I mean, you name it, right? Porn, it's different for everyone. So, you can expect that this person's coming to, to tell you the truth with the Ace of Swords. Whew. All right, well, what's the advice for Libra in this situation? What's the advice for Libra in this situation? Five of Cups. What is the advice for Libra in this situation? What is the advice for Libra in this situation? What is the advice, Spirit, for Libra? These are Zodiac cards. Okay. So you have the Four of Cups, the Five of Cups, and the Fool. Some of you, Spirit, could be telling you, um, if it smells fishy, don't do it. You know what I'm saying? If, if it's something that you really don't want anymore or you don't want to deal with this anymore, okay, you can say no, you can reject it, you can move forward, um, you can have something new. For others of you, it may be worth looking at it with this person or taking this person back. It may be worth it. But I don't see this as someone who's interested in playing with you. It may be worth it to leave whatever happened to you guys in the past and to start over and because they may have really truly detached from something that wasn't good, okay? So that's what I have for you, Libra. Um, let's get these. Oh, shit. Let me get these messages. Angels, what does this person want to say to Libra? What does this person want to say to Libra? What does this person want to say to Libra? What, the, what do they want to say? Okay, Libra. So you have that. Punani is so good. <laughs> what does this person want to say to Libra, please? What does this person want to say to Libra? Libra. You are the best in bed. 
What does this person want to tell Libra spirit? What does this person want to tell Libra? So this person wants to let you know that walking away from you was so hard. It, it wasn't it wasn't easy at all. Songs remind them of you. I replay all of the good memories that we had. What does this person want to say to Libra? Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Have my baby. And I'm afraid to reveal my feelings. Anything else? What does this person want to say to Libra? Anything else? What does this person want to say to Libra? <clears throat> what does this person want to say to Libra? Anything else? Yeah, some of you are just like... I've moved on, you know. Um, the Libra could be saying that to the cross watcher or the cross watcher. I mean, the, your person could be telling you that if you're the one who fucked up. If you're the one who fucked up, then this person may be like, okay, you know what? I've moved on from this. I don't want this anymore. The damage has been done. I don't trust you. You have, I hide myself from you, my true self. And you have, I'm planning a big surprise. So I wonder what the freak type of surprise that is. wonder angels what is this person's intentions coming towards libra what is this person's intentions coming towards libra intentions coming towards libra what is this person's intentions coming towards libra what is this person's intentions coming towards libra what are this person's intentions coming towards libra what are this person's intentions coming towards libra That's reverse King of Pentacles. So, um, Libra, this may be someone who's ready for commitment, where, um, whereas they weren't ready before. Okay, they want to be with you. It's you that they want to settle down with, that they want to be with. So, let me know what the freak is going on, Libra, okay? Love you guys very much. See you guys next time.